I want to carve some time out of tonight's show to share something I figured out over the break. You know, we all experience and engage in passive aggressive behavior, but thanks to the way we use technology now, there's a new way to be passive aggressive that's not as easy to understand. It's the passive aggressive text message. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, here's an example. You ask a simple question like this, can I bring Dave to dinner tonight? And the person to whom you're texting replies, sure, with an explanation point at the end. Now, if you got this text, you could reasonably assume that the person on the other end is happy about Dave coming to dinner, maybe even excited about it. But what about this? You ask, can I bring Dave to dinner tonight? And your husband or wife or girlfriend says, sure, with a period. <laughs> Almost an identical text, but the subtext of the text not that period. Instead of the exclamation, exclamation point means either I thought we were going out just the two of us or I don't care if Dave comes or maybe it means I don't like Dave. <laughs> you don't know. Well, let's look at another example here. A simple message you ask, can you pick up some milk on the way home? And your text mate replies, of course. Now, if you got this, you can assume there will be a container of milk in your refrigerator when this person gets home. But what if you ask the same question, you say, can you pick up some milk on the way home? And the response is the letter K. <laughs> if you got this, I think you can assume the person will get the milk but isn't happy about it. The letter K is like the text equivalent of rolling your eyes at someone. It's like what a teenager does when he asks how her day was. But a K is no good, but this might be worse. Now, try again, can you pick up some milk on the way home? And the answer is, yup. <laughs> yup translates to, oh, I'll get the milk, but why the hell can't you get the milk? <laughs> I'm working all day, you had nine hours to go get milk, and now I'm at being asked to go get the milk, right? Now, yup should never be confused with yep. Yep is, yep's okay, yep is friendly. <laughs> Yep is upbeat, but if the E changes to a U, that person probably wants to push you into a wood chipper. <laughs> I want to mention one more. Maybe this might be the most passive-aggressive of all the passive-aggressive texts. It's this. Uh, this response. Ha. <laughs> ha, it, ha says, I acknowledge that what you said was meant to be funny. It wasn't, but <laughs> can you imagine in real life you made a joke and someone said, ha. You can't, because no one would ever do. You would have, if they did, you would fight them, right? So just to recap, when texting, uh, avoid using periods, yups, and ha's. And most importantly, never, ever use your phone to make a call. That you should never do. <laughs> Nobody likes that anymore. It's annoying. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you.